Have you ever thought when you open Netflix or Amazon Prime, they suggest movie or TV shows you might watch? How does it happen? Recommendation engine is the main idea behind all those things. So today we are going to implement movie recommendation system. So we are going to use uh, matrix, matrix factorization, collaborative filtering to implement today movie recommendation engine and the main algorithm we are going to use um, is Spark ARS and uh, we need some prerequisitic knowledge to get the good knowledge of this uh, hands-on session. So these are the you should know recommendation system, you should know the matrix factorization, you should know the how the assay algorithm works, what is the rank, lambda and the regularization factor. So I would recommend please visit my previous video. I have given all the detail uh, very nicely in very easy way and uh, that's it let us start the code and one more thing um, please subscribe my channel to motivate me let us start so uh, we need uh, to uh, we need data set so i have given the link here one is the big size of data set and another is the small uh, data set so i would recommend go for the small data set it will not take much time and uh, you can execute your system in any uh, configuration of laptop so first and foremost uh, let me import all the required libraries and uh, uh, spark session is required for making the spark session then it's uh, sql context we are going to use to create the data frame and regression evaluator so when you make the model to we can uh, evaluate and check how much error is there and this is the main uh, libraries ars okay so let me execute that then as I says that uh, we have the two folder structure. So I would recommend you uh, use any one, uh, depend upon your system. So I've given the both part. If you see my system, uh, so I have this both uh, folder structure. So you can see this folder structure and this folder structure, right? Both, for, both uh, files I have seen. And if you want to see what are the things uh, inside this one, this photo structure. So let me show you. Uh, these are the files. So important file is rating.csv. Uh, it has uh, all the, I will show you what are the things out there. It has the movie ID, it has the user ID, and it has the how much rating is there. And with the time stamp. And this uh, movie CSV, is they have the movie ID and movie name and title and uh, this information are there and the third link is also important if you want to show the website for that movie so the information are there okay so let us start what will we do first uh, first we create the spark session and uh, let me create the spark session and after that we need the SQL contest also so uh, as I told you, we need some created data frame. Um, then let me import all the uh, files, right? Rating files and uh, movies files. Okay. So let me here. Yeah. So I have given the path for the rating files. Now you can see uh, what is the. So we have the three things: uh, user ID, movie ID, and the ratings, right? This, and if you want to see the one data, I can show you what are the data are here. So we have the user ID, movie ID, and ratings and time stamp. The same way we do copy paste and take the movies information. And here we give the movie. In here we have the movie ID, title and the uh, title and the generous, okay. And then we let me show one data. And movie ID and title and the, this information, which kind of movie is that, okay. And we have to copy also the link one. So as we discussed that, so all the these three files are important to have in our code base. So we are going to import. So this is the, what was the file name, it was the, yeah. 
So all these three we are going to use on the line now. Okay. So now what if we do? Uh, we we divide our data set into uh, two part. One is the training and second is the variations. So as we do in the uh, any machine learning program. Okay. And, but ARS required all the data in the numeric form. No need to change here because the uh, data is already in the numeric form. Okay, so between take the training uh, and the variations. And now, once we get these two data, we have to create our model, right? So these are the information is required for the ARS. Uh, what is the iteration? What is the regression parameter and the rank? So this rank is very important thing. And this is the concept of the matrix factorization. So you should know what is the matrix factorization. They divide the big uh, sparse matrix into two part or three part to easy calculations. And then we have to use the gradient descent backward forward to tuning those data to minimize our errors, right? So for those things, we are going to use this. Uh, and then, it, now, if you have everything, then we can go to create our main model. What are the things here? Okay, let me explain each and everything. Iteration means to minimize the error, how many backward forward they will move during the gradient descent calculations. And this is the regression parameter. When you do the backward forward, from which factor they are going to change the initial initialization value. So I have kept 0.1. And what is the rank? I have kept four. And this user ID column is the, if you see the rank rating CSB, yeah. So this user ID is this one, and this movie ID is here, right? And the rating. Of these three columns, I am going to use in implementing the uh, model. So it's user ID, movie ID, and ratings, right? Next is that we have to fit, we have to pass the training data to fit the model, right? So once you're done, then we have to predict. Prediction is important with the validation data to know how much error is there, right? So I pass the validation data. For the fit, I give the training data. For the validation, I'm giving the uh, validation data. Once we get the prediction, we will see uh, if any prediction is uh, um, no value or the null point, I will remove this, get the new prediction. Then we will use the RMSC uh, root mean square error to find out how much error is there, right? And th this is the my actual rating, and this is the prediction rating. How much? What is the prediction we are getting from the model? Let me uh, run that program. It will show what is the root mean square. But meanwhile, let me show one thing. How I can say rank four is good for me? We can't say. So you have to use. Uh, uh, rank 4, rank 5, so you have to check for the rank 4, rank 5, rank, rank 6 and when you get the good RMSC, you choose that model. So now you can see uh, error is 0.88, right? You can see that point is 88 with the rank 4. You have to use the rank 5, you have to rank, use the rank 6. I am not going to execute this command for the rank 5, but I am uh, saying that uh, you can use that uh, let me insert new block okay so now uh, instead of that i am giving the one code but use that code a uh, for loop it will give the complete uh, not here after this uh, let me uh, you can experiment in your home right so uh, with this code, I am not running here. So, if you execute this code, so I am given the rank from 4 to 10. So, it will run the 4 to 10 times, and for the each rank, it will give the RMSC, which is the worst EMSC you can take it. And one more important thing, even you can use the cross validation, right? Uh, cross validation mechanism is there. So, what it will do in this code, <coughs> you the I showed you for the for loop code. In this code, it will only change the rank, right, from 4 to 7. But what about the uh, regularization factor? 
so in this code this part of code what i have selected here this this part is i have selected so this is called the clause validator it will take all the parameter it will take the range uh, rank from 4 to 10 and for the e each rank it will take the different kind of the parameters uh, lambda value and they will create many more models depend upon all the permutation combination and give the best fit of the model it will take a huge time to run so i'm not going to use that but in your home you can do it uh, for our purpose i'm going to use this model uh, what model i have created here right once you do it then uh, no i have the model so now we are going to see the prediction of that model right so let me take the new block and you can see our prediction so now how this prediction is came because this is the this predictions and even you can take the new prediction also no problem so now go to the prediction dot show it will uh, show the uh, top 10 recommendation so these are the that the website is the user id and then move this is user id and the movie id so uh, then it is recommending that for the user id 474 you can recommend the movie 471 and you see actual rating is the 3 but our model is giving the 3.297 so our model is very near to the actual rating right so it means the model is working fine so now what i'm going to do i'm going to join this prediction with the movie record to show the movie name also for the top 5 right so it will show the movie title and type of movies uh, it will show here so it will show this user id and the movie name i just joined that uh, prediction and that uh, movie df right so now what i'm going to do next so if you see here i want to get the prediction for particular one user id okay so uh, now suppose one user id is there 599 i want to <coughs> predict the movie for him so or how how i can do that so you can do the same prediction and but fit with the filter of the user id 599 and the put put the same thing so it will show for particular user 599 you can see this here 599 what is the movie uh, the system is recommending right so this is the way we can recommend the movie for the particular user and then the next interesting part uh, i want to show that uh, uh, movies website also so for the each movie we have the website right so what i do this uh, tmbd id is the actual website movie index and the actual website is this one so if you append this value tmdb id it will uh, give the one you are you are for particular movie so i'm just taking the two one two movie for from this user side so now see they are opening the website for the movie so one movie is coming um, man in black and this is a good movie and second is the out of a fake right so these two movies is showing so this way you can show the movie and both movies recommended for the uh, 599 uh, user id okay so now the next important uh, api given by the spark air is that so suppose you want to recommend for the top for the uh, for the uh, you want to generate top five movie recommended for the each user so, so suppose in your database you have the 10,000 user and you want to recommend all the 10,000 users for the top five movie according to their interest so then this api is very uh, important and interesting so it will show for all the user top five and the next api just opposite for the each movie top five users right so let me execute this <clears throat> so now if you see the schema what is the schema for this user id so it will show the user id and that the or the movie id so let me print the value for uh, one So now you can see if uh, showing for this user 
this uh, this movie five movie so for each user it is showing the five recommended movie this is the way uh, the basic idea how the netflix and the amazon prime is to do and the second thing the second the same thing if i want to do for the uh, movie recommend uh, df what i got right so for the movie recommend uh, you can for the each movie what is the five different user right so in the project side earlier case it was the for the each user five movie and in this case for the each movie which is the five most user who can uh, who might watch this movie right so this is an interesting thing and the next part i'm going to show uh, suppose you have some uh, users right so if i take uh, uh, take any random users uh, and i want to for those random users what is the movie uh, uh, we can recommend them so suppose i took three users uh, 148 163 randomly i took it and i want to show the what is the recommended movie for this three user so for that one very nice api is there recommended for the user subset you can use this now if you execute it will show for the each user what is the uh, 10 movie uh, recommended movie so these are the different apis we can uh, use that right so in this case let me uh, just show right. so if you want to show in good way then you have to uh, use this command You can see that for the uh, each user what is the 10 movies right in the same way if you do the recommend for the uh, um, item subset so you can see uh, see the different view right so let me show those part also so i took randomly three movies and want to generate the uh, who can the best user for this movies right so And let me print also so now this case is the movie id and the user id right now the last part i'm going to show uh, uh so suppose uh, if i give to my model this information so i want for this user 543 what is the prediction value for this particular movie means i am giving the user id and also giving the movie id and i want to predict so first we create the data frame that's why i use the sql context and then uh, pass this data context uh, data frame to our model with uh, transform and we can see the predictions right so now it is predicting for this movie this user id prediction is 4.46 might be very high so in this way you can also recommend that and uh, that's it for this uh, video and um, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the Binod Suman Academy channel. Uh, thank you very much.